Hi, I'm Redwood. I'm going to show you how to catch some animals that live in creeks and streams. We're going to look for macroinvertebrates. Macro means these animals are big enough to see without a microscope. Invertebrates are animals without backbones. You can think of how vertebrae are the bones in a backbone. These animals don't have those. Here's the basics of what you will need. Some containers, like containers that used to hold yogurt or sour cream or anything around this size. A tray-like container. It could be like a Tupperware or a takeout container or baking pan. It's best if it's a light color. And a stream that has water in it. Here's some other things that are useful but not necessary. And here are a few other tools you might want to try using if you have them. Start by just looking into the water for a few minutes. You might not see any creatures at first, but if you keep patiently looking, you might start to notice some invertebrates moving around. I've practiced this enough that sometimes I can even spot invertebrates that are staying still. If you have trouble with the glare on the surface of the water, try wearing polarized sunglasses. You can also make an underwater viewer. Use a can that has both ends cut off. Take some clear plastic wrap over one end, making sure it is tight with no wrinkles. Then you can push the covered end into the water and look through the open end. When you're ready to catch invertebrates, an easy way is to pick up a rock that's in the stream. Let's try this one. Look closely. Can you see anything moving? If you don't see anything on this rock, put it back in the water and try another one. You can use two containers to catch creatures that are on the rock. Hold the rock over one container. Use the other container to pour water over the rock. The water can knock the invertebrates off the rock into the bottom container. Sometimes a creature isn't knocked off with water, but I can gently brush it off with a clean paintbrush. Make sure to put the rock back in the water after you are done with it. You can also find invertebrates using a tray. Set some stuff from the water in the tray and look closely to find invertebrates. You can pick up and look at anything invertebrates might live on. Rocks, dead leaves and sticks, live plants. Look at and sort through the material, first without and then with water. Once you find creatures, you can put them into another container to study them. Sometimes people use different kinds of nets to catch freshwater invertebrates. If you have a net, Maybe you can find another video or resource that will teach you how to use it. Keep looking for creatures in different parts of the creek. Look on rocks, near dead leaves, near plants, on logs and roots. Look where the water is moving slow and where it's moving fast. After you've caught some invertebrates, you can observe them. I like to draw a picture of one and take notes about what I notice and questions that I have. Then you can identify them. You can use a field guide or key to find out the name of your creatures. Some guides, like this one, can be found on the internet. Or you can use a field guide book. You can even use a free smartphone app called Creek Critters made by the Audubon Naturalist Society. Some field guides will tell you about the pollution tolerance or stress tolerance of the invertebrates. Some kinds of invertebrates can live in creeks that have pollution or, or other causes of stress, like less water in the creek or less trees near it. Other kinds of invertebrates have low pollution tolerance. That means they will die if the habitat is harmed too much. If you find plenty of invertebrates with low pollution tolerance, that means you're probably at a pretty healthy stream. Take good care of the freshwater invertebrates you are studying. Most freshwater invertebrates need cool water because colder water holds more oxygen. So work in the shade and release them when you're done. I rinse out my containers and shake out the water to make sure all the invertebrates get back in the stream. Now you're ready to go catch some freshwater invertebrates. Here's some that I caught in Dutch Bell Creek here at Westminster Woods. I wonder what creatures you'll catch in your stream.